A long time ago, in a land far, far away, there lived a young knight. He was handsome, brave and strong. His armor was silvery white, and so was his horse. All the women loved him, and the men admired his courage and good nature. But despite all his good fortune, the knight had not been happy for a long time, not since his only brother had left to serve a king in another country across the mountains. Every day he missed his brother more. Finally, he went before the king to ask for permission to visit his brother. It will be a very long journey. I may be away for a month or even a year, he said. But I will return to serve you, my lord. The king was fond of this young knight and was sad to see him go. But he said, go in peace. Your brother will be happy to see you too. But take great care, your venture is not without danger. The next day, the young knight set off on his long journey. He rode all day before he sought shelter for the night. The following morning, his path led him to a forest. As he entered the forest, the light grew dim around him, and the deeper into the woods he rode, the fainter the sounds of birds and insects became until he could hear only the dry leaves crushing below him and the occasional snort of his white steed. Suddenly the darkness gave way and the knight entered a clearing in the forest. Abruptly he pulled the horse to a stop. At the other end of the clearing something seemed to be blocking his path. It looked black and sinister. It was a knight, all dressed in black armor, on a raven-colored horse. The black knight was ready to charge. The white knight knew his journey would be full of perils and dangers, but he was surprised to be facing them so soon. Nothing would stop me from seeing my brother, not even a black knight. He lowered the visor and charged forward. With rapid speed, the galloping horses raced towards each other. As the spears crashed against the shields, the two knights were thrown off their horses. They drew their swords and continued their battle. The black knight was fast and strong, but the white knight knew how to respond with vigor and skill. He was well trained in the craft of swordsmanship. The black knight was aggressive and audacious, but the white knight knew how to counter-strike the adversary's blows. The battle continued until the sun began to settle. Widely striking and bashing, they both inflicted deep wounds in each other. Both knights were exhausted. With a final thrust, the white knight plunged his sword deep into the black knight, mortally wounding him. The fight was over. The white knight could barely move as he looked upon the lifeless body of the black knight. Who is this black enemy? He wondered, and with his last strength, he pulled the helmet off the Black Knight. His heart stopped as he looked at the face of the other knight. It was the face he so much longed to see again. It was his brother.